my brother and my sister, my viewer from wherever you are following this channel, I, Pastor Stephen Tirop, would like to welcome you to today's devotion. We are going on with the thought of the Holy Spirit who brings into us the nature of godliness. And so today I invite you as we enter into yet another week to consider with me the text of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 and onwards. This is where Paul is talking about the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Our kind, gracious Father, we come before you, praying, Lord, that you may speak to us as we engage in these 40 days of prayer, praying for our own growth and for the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the session, in the choice of leaders, for the work that is going on through the church. Use me, Lord. Speak through me. And may my audience be blessed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3, 4, all the way to verse 6 says this. We are human, but we don't wage war as human do. We use God's mighty weapons not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and reach and teach them to Obey Christ, and after you have become fully obedient, we will punish everyone who remains disobedient. Brethren, this is Paul's way of talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit in the ministry of the gospel. But he's saying, though we are human beings, the Holy Spirit whom we, we are praying for to fill us, can work miracles, can help us to overcome obstacles and to even preach the gospel and reach out to the people. In other words, Paul is saying, just as the first church, the apostolic church, experienced a lot of miracles, experienced power, and their lives were changed. We too, through seeking the Holy Spirit to be filled by the Holy Spirit, reading the scripture, having the character of Christ, that is Christ's righteousness, being part and parcel of our life, the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit will work to break down barriers so that we can do the work which we are called to do at this time. I pray, my dear brother, that even as we enter into another week, this being day 34 of prayer, as we enter into yet another week when we are going to speak about the, 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 the work of the three angels' message. I pray that we may relate with this text so that you and I can know that we have a greater power than that which is in the world. And this power breaks strongholds and disobedience and enables us to command and to teach those who may be rebellious 
so that they can be obedient to the gospel. Indeed, this is a great promise. This is a wonderful, wonderful text that each Christian, each believer, you being an Adventist, being a woman who wants to minister to, to, to each and everyone whom the Lord brings you in conduct with, can claim the promise of this text and know that we have such a power which is at our disposal, which can enable us to reach even those whom we did not think possible before. May God bless you as you choose to be an instrument, a person who can inspire others. As we pray for this infilling, as we pray for the ministry of the, or the, the, ministry of the church in various uh, areas and entered areas, as we pray for the, the, the session that God may lead us to have, to, may lead the, the, those who are at the session and may guide us as we pray that we join hands so that the Lord can bring leaders who will lead us at this time to accomplish our, our work. I ask you, brother and sister, my fellow you so that we pray together. Let us pray. Eternal, gracious Father, we want to thank you, Lord, that the Holy Spirit which you have given us can work miracles in our lives, can help us so that we do not wage war using human tools, but so that we can be equipped by the power of the Holy Spirit, so that as we preach, as we interact, we may come to you and go to those whom we are reaching out to, knowing that you go ahead and you reach and touch them so that they can be obedient to the gospel. Help me, help my listener, bless us as a church so that, Lord, we may realize that we have such a wonderful power that cannot be resisted so that all may be obedient. Bless my listener and bless your church. Lift us up and let us work knowing that we have this power at our disposal. Thank you because you have promised us and you have given us this full opportunity an open door for us to open our hearts and to welcome the power of the Holy Spirit to be at work, at work in our life. Bless and accept our services and our ministries. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.